just wanted to give you a quick update of the Civic. Because he's not getting a uh, digital dash yet, and we're not swapping over the management and stuff, we're just running the stock clocks and we don't want to spend lots of time or money making a, something to hold these this cluster in. So we're just going to make a nice easy bracket that comes off of these two mounting points inside, comes out and then flips up to mount on these two points on the outside. And then we'll put some a piece of rubber across the bottom make sure it doesn't shake too much but it's going to shake a little bit but this is only temporary until obviously he gets his proper dash of some kind so it's a real quick L-shaped bracket it might be a little bit funky and a little bit weird shaped but we'll do it on the plasma machine and it shouldn't take too long so I've taken some quick measurements from these two hole centers the dash hole centers and then the distance how far we want to have it mounted out all right, so I'm gonna be honest and say I messed up. Um, I had to pause the program. I saw it cut these outside two holes and they were way too far apart. So I put two new holes and a different gap in the center. Um, so the dash, sure enough, does fit in and line up. I have to do it the other way. But basically, that fits in there, no problem. Like, literally perfectly. So all I need to do is fold these two points. Obviously, it'll flick around that way. So I just got finished up painting. So the bracket's in now. It's got two mounting points that sit between the cage and the main brace. And then the two bolts in. So I can get a better view. So it looks pretty decent for such a quick, easy bracket. And then the dash itself just fits straight up. There might be some shaking, but hopefully not too much, it's pretty sturdy. Pretty big as well, so I don't think even if it does shake a small amount, it's that small vibration that's gonna take your eyes, but I think we're gonna be all right. I don't think that'd be a problem. What I should have done is, in hindsight is obviously, first of all, measured it correctly, but I should have made these larger and then ribbed nut them, because then I wouldn't have to mess about with a nut and bolt through the bag. Rib nut. <laughs> and if you haven't seen what a rib nut is, it's basically a rivet. It's got a thread in it. And the thread, thread stays say, stable when you pull it through with the rib, gu uh, rib nut gun. I'll just show you. The indicator stalk wasn't in the way. Boom, done. All the rib nuts in place. And the dash will just fit straight over the top. We'll get it plugged in first. Hopefully, I won't get in the way of the camera too much. I should probably sort some of this wiring out first, really. Done a quick tidy up with the loom using the really horrible trunking, but nonetheless, stock wiring loom and the manufacturers use it. So we'll now install the dash. So I've tidied up the wiring a little bit. Not that you can see it, but it doesn't look nice really anyway. And then the dash, fully mounted. There's a a little bit of flex in it obviously because of the way it's mounted but I think it'll actually prove pretty secure once it's in there you know this is a, a semi budget build, every build's on a budget it just depends how big it is but this is a low end budget so we spent money where it's needed but on a lot of this stuff you know the loom works although it doesn't look pretty it works um, the dash works doesn't look pretty but it does work um, it would obviously be nice to get a nice race loom built for this and a nice modern dash, digital dash with can. Just got to tidy up the right hand side, tidy up the rear wiring once it's been painted. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. 
you can also check us out on Facebook, the link's going to be in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.